hello. So, I want to talk about something that regards the, the queer community, as often is the case on this channel. Uh, so, the, the thing about pride flags, I want to talk about the rainbow flag and um, that sort of thing. So, a lot of people, um, especially those who aren't in the queer community, will call the rainbow flag the gay flag. And, um, like, it's not offensive to do that, per se. It's not like you're disrespecting anyone, per se. But it is reductive and not inclusive and not accurate. Because the, the pride flag, the rainbow flag, represents the entire queer community. Um, it, you know, including transgender people, non-binary people, intersex people, asexual people, um, bisexual people, gay people, you know, homosexual people, aka gay people, yeah, um, pansexual, etc., etc. Like, they're, they all are, um, intended to be represented by the rainbow flag. Now, there have been changes made to the rainbow flag over the years to make it more inclusive, like, in, like, a visual symbolic sense, such as adding the stripes of, like, the, the trans flag, you know, the colors, like, pink, light blue, and white, as well as adding, um, black and brown stripes to represent, um, queer people of color, and, um, and like that you'll even see some that have uh, I believe it's like a yellow background with a I want to say a purple circle or something I can't remember what the color of the circle is but that that represents people who are intersex so there have been efforts over the years to make the flag more inclusive in a visual symbolic sense however as it stands even just a simple rainbow flag does represent the entire queer community and it's it's understood to you know have that meaning within within the the community i'm i'm a little distracted cuz i noticed that like whenever i like rotate well, whenever i rock back and forth this thing rotates on my neck that's really cool <laughs> that's really cool wow yeah i don't know that was funny to me but yeah um, so the reason why I bring this up is because, well, I think it's important just to, like, make sure to, um, spread true information and try to dispel misunderstandings or whatever. Dispel, is that a word? I think it is, right? Anyway, um, yeah, like, to just to, you know, educate people who might not know otherwise. Um, and I want to stress that, like, you're not a bigot if you've called the the pro you know the rainbow flag uh, a gay flag like i think there are plenty of people even within the queer community that have done that before but that doesn't mean that it's like the most accurate or inclusive way to describe it because it is it, it's for everybody like it's for everybody in the lgbtq plus community <laughs> it really is um and you know, it's it represents all um, gender and sexual and romantic minorities. Gender, sexuality, and romantic minorities. Yeah, like th those are what's represented in in that flag. You know, and um, it may or may not have been that way originally, but symbols have meanings change all the time. That's um, that's just an important part of like. Uh, symbolism and its its role in in you know the world and and stuff. So, yeah, they are they are you know their meaning is fluid. Yeah, I mean yeah. So, if you wanted to know that, now you do. So have a nice day. I'll see you around.